everybody, it's Sam. So if you haven't played with me before, welcome. So I'm going to be taking you through an air element play today. So we're going to be working um, quite fluidly in the practice and also looking at opening and engaging through the front body, uh, working into some heart openers, really working with the Anahata chakra today, so your heart chakra. So trying to find some cleansing fluid practice um, to guide you through. So if you need to as well, it uh, might be a good chance to grab a block or a strap. If you know that you often use these in your practices, if you don't have anything um, to use, then you can find something around the house. So maybe like some hardback books maybe a tie, a bathrobe tie, get creative. So yeah, maybe just get this hand uh, before we start. So yeah, um, we're gonna work through a bit of grounding, a bit of breath work, um, starting to warm up the body, and then I'll guide you through the main flow, which we often repeat. So know that this is optional as well. Um, so if you kind of do one, one of each side, balance out the body, Feel free to stay in child's pose and then we'll flow again and then we can all meet to do some nice counter poses and relaxation. So when you're ready and you have everything that you need around you, then we're going to start to take a seated pose. So if you want to take your block, this can be really nice to put underneath your sit bones just to give yourself that little bit of lengthening through the spine. So you can find yourself in a comfortable seat. So either cross-legged, maybe you want to be on the knees, that's absolutely fine. And again, taking that block underneath. So it allows the sit bones to ground and the knees to just rest down onto the mat, finding that stability. Before we close down the eyes, take a deep inhale. Draw the shoulders up to the ears. And then exhale, roll the shoulders down the back. Take two more of these. Inhale, raise the shoulders up. And then exhale, roll that tension away. Open through the chest. One more. Inhale. And then exhale, open through the heart. And then keeping the eyes closed down here. You can have the palms resting on the lap, palms down or facing up, whichever feels best for you today. And then just starting to settle here. Starting to bring our awareness inwards. Bringing our awareness towards our breath and we're not necessarily changing the breath here but just noticing how it feels for you today. So maybe you want to see where you can feel the breath in your body. Maybe you're breathing quite short, shallow breaths into the chest. It's been quite a hectic day, quite stressful. Or maybe you're breathing quite deeply into your belly. And there's really no right or wrong here. We're just simply observing. Maybe starting to send your awareness to any areas of tightness, any areas of tension in your body. Notice where they may arise. And can you start to send your breath into these areas to allow them to soften a little? Maybe relaxing down your jaw. Softening the space in between the eyebrows, soften in the temples, releasing any extra tension, anything that you might be holding on to here. And starting to bring some awareness 
towards your breath again. Maybe you can start to slightly deepen the breath, inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the nose. And start to place your right hand towards your belly and your left hand towards your chest. And just spend a moment here to notice the natural rhythm of the breath. The way the belly inflates on the inhale, the chest rises. And on the exhale, the chest starts to lower, the belly softens. And then moving into a bit of a three part breath. So really bringing our attention to each area of our body as we breathe. So you can keep the eyes closed down. As you inhale, start to notice the belly inflating here. So we're really drawing it from the belly all the way up. The ribs expand, the chest opens. And as you exhale, the chest starts to draw back, the ribs contract, the belly softens. See if you can take a couple more rounds of breath with this awareness. Moving up through belly, ribs, chest. On the exhale, chest, ribs, belly. Maybe you can see if you can start to make this more fluid so that it is one continuous inhale and exhale. Maybe noticing the body filling up with air here. So as we can get quite stressed here in these times, we can often close off mentally and physically. So really allow that air, that prana to dig deep into the body, opening you up, filling you up. Take one more round of breath. And then when you are ready, releasing the hands and placing them back onto your lap. And just coming back to those gentle inhales and exhales through the nose. Maybe noticing any slight shifts already in the body. And when you are ready, gently starting to blink open the eyes. Maybe taking that block from beneath you if you use that option. And we'll make our way onto our all fours, however you wish, going into our tabletop position. So finding the foundations of our tabletop position here. So spreading really wide through the fingertips. The shoulders are on top of the wrist, the hips stack on top of the knees. Beginning to take a couple rounds of cat cow to mobilize through the spine. So as you inhale, the tailbone lifts, the chest reaches through, the gaze goes up to the sky. As you exhale, tuck under the tailbone, push away with the shoulder blades, gaze to your belly, arch your back. And take a couple more rounds of this movement here. See if you can start to link this movement with your breath. So you might want to go a little bit slower than me, a little bit faster, whatever feels right for you. This is your practice. And maybe you want to stay with this variation of cat-cow, or if you want to, adding a little bit more fluidity. So starting to send the sit bones back towards the heel. As you inhale, push down through the hands, round through the spine to lift into our cat back. As you exhale, tuck, lift the sit bones, open through the chest, push the sit bones back to the heels. Nice. And go ahead and take a couple more rounds of this if this serves you here. 
add in any extra little bit of movements that you might need to here. Seeing what your body needs. Really nice. Take one more round. And then wherever you are, we'll come back to me in a tabletop position. So resetting those foundations. Grounding down through the top of the right foot. Start to extend the left leg behind you, squaring through the hips and then start to lift that left leg off the mat. So we're looking for this parallel line, lowering down through the left hip, squaring the hips, engaging the core. This might be enough or if you want to, taking that right hand out long in front of you, feeling that nice core engagement, yes. <laughs> Breathe in here and then we'll start to pulse. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Nice. Then from here, drawing that left knee in to meet the right elbow. Using that cat back so we arch through the spine. Inhale. As you exhale, extend it out long. Nice. Two more. Inhale. Exhale, extend. One more, inhale, exhale, extend. Just going to add on three more, inhale. This time as you exhale, extend, start to bend that left foot up towards the left glute. Open through the chest, so we're starting to open through that upper body. Two more. Lift and open. One more. Nice, and then gently with control, starting to place the hand back down. Maybe sitting back onto the heels, giving your wrists a little shake here. Anything that feels good for you. Then meeting back in a tabletop, take an inhale, come towards your cow. Exhale, cat pose. Then resetting, coming onto the other side. So grounding through the top of the left foot this time as we inhale the right leg back, right left leg lifts up into this parallel position. Stay in here or extending the left hand out in front of you. Breathe in here. And then taking those pulses for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Feeling everything engage here. Inhale long. As you exhale, the right knee taps left elbow. Come into that rounded spine. You know where we're going. Inhale. Exhale, tap. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, tap. And adding in that heart opening this time. So as you inhale, extend the right foot, bends up towards the right glute. Lift up and out of the chest. Maybe you can send that right leg a little bit higher. Two more. Squeeze it in. Extend it up. Beautiful. One more. Extend. Nice. And then placing the knee, the hand back down. Sitting back onto the heels again, shaking out those wrists. Coming back to that slow and steady breath. And then coming back into your tabletop position. We're going to make our way into extended puppy pose. So setting the foundations here, you want to make sure that your knees are underneath your hips. And these want to stay here. So we don't want to be moving the body really far forward. We want this element to stay really strong and connected. Then from here, start to take your fingertips forward. So we're aiming to melt our heart our chest down but not losing that core engagement so this might feel a bit much if you want to you can take this variation when you come on to your elbows hands come into prayer position you can just allow that head to drop down here so this is also really nice otherwise allowing that chest to melt down 
filling up on each inhale, melting on each exhale. Maybe you want to find some more space, so coming up onto your fingertips, just allowing that chest to just melt a little bit more. And again, see if you can notice if you're holding any tension in any other parts of the body here. Breathing through it, allow this to just soften, to just be. Take one more deep breath here. Inhale. Exhale, sigh it out through the mouth. And then as slowly as you need to, start to walk your fingertips back. We're going to keep them a little bit further forward than we would do in our tabletop position. Keeping your fingertips spread really wide and like you want to grip hold of the mat. Wrap your triceps around and in so the eyes of the elbows are facing forward. Tuck under the toes, lift the knees and just hover here for a moment. Finding that engagement through the lower and the upper body equally. Inhale. As you exhale, keeping this strong foundation in your front, see if you can start to extend the legs back into your first downward facing dog, Ardha Mukha Svanasana, nice. So in your first down dog, you might want to keep a really generous bend in the knees here, allowing you to really elongate that back body, maybe pedaling through the feet. Breathing here, maybe shaking the head yes and no, releasing any tension through the neck, through the shoulders. Maybe taking some deep breaths, sign it out, letting it go, inhale. Exhale, audible sound. <sighs> nice, dropping into your practice, maybe one more. And when you are ready, finding a little bit of stillness here, finding this inverted V shape. And start to take the gaze forward, rise all the way onto your tiptoes and tiptoe your feet behind your wrists, keeping your feet hips distance. Take a generous bend in the knees and allow that upper body to just melt forward here. Breathe in here, so you can either stay here or hold opposite elbows. Maybe gently swaying from side to side, ragdoll pose, whatever suits you today. As you do this, just really allow no tension in the neck, shoulders, allow everything to just melt forward. Feel that pull of the earth. Really nice. One more breath. And release the hands down beside you. Tuck the chin in towards the chest. And slowly, keeping your knees flat, start to roll the spine all the way up to standing. Head coming up, last of all. Nice. And as you reach the top of the mat, take a deep inhale. Draw your shoulders up to your ears. Exhale, roll the shoulders down the back. Create that space. Now standing at the top of your mat, finding your foundation. So you can either have your feet stacked hip width or you can have your big toes together, heels slightly apart, whatever feels best for you. Before we move, let's lift all 10 toes off the mat, spread them as wide as you can, and then ground them back down to the earth, finding that connection here. Nice, slight internal rotation of the thighs. Drawing that belly in, so connecting to your Mula Bandha, your Uddiyana Bandha. So we're squeezing that belly slightly and drawing up. So this allows our core to protect us, especially with our heart opening postures today. So before we move, taking a bit of a stretch. So interlacing all of your fingers together and releasing the first finger here, coming into Kali Mudra. So as you inhale, We'll lift the arms up into the sky. Inhale, reach it high, and as you exhale, start to lean over to the right. So as you do this, you wanna keep your body in line so we're not 
reaching forward or arching back. We're imagining we're sandwiched between two panes of glass and we're engaging through that left foot. Inhale. Exhale, can you drop slightly deeper? And then inhale back to centre, reach it high. Exhale, coming over to the left now. Again, same thing. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, takes you all the way back up. Then keeping your hands interlaced, release that finger back down. So hands of interlaced together and start to open the arms, taking the hands behind the back of the skull. So as you inhale, start to open through the upper body so the, the hips shift forward, there is engagement through the core. We want to feel like we're bending from our upper back here, so we lift up and out of the stretch. Inhale, push your head into the hands, hands into the head. As you exhale, round through the spine, keep a bend in the knees and allow those elbows to reach forward. Nice, take two more. Inhale, opens you up. Breathe all the air into your lungs. Exhale, round it off. One more. Inhale. Exhale to round. Inhale, takes you back up. And exhale, takes your hands down beside you. We're going to start to move through some sun salutation A. So again, finding your foundations in your Tadasana. Round and down to lift up. We inhale, arms reach high, maybe the gaze follows. As you exhale, start to hinge from your hips, keeping a bend in the knees if you like. Folding forwards, Uttanasana. Inhale, half lift, hands can go to the shins, gaze forward, or maybe your fingertips can go in front of you on the mat. As you exhale, bend the knees, plant the hands, step back to your plank pose. So holding here for a couple breaths. You can stay here, or know you always have the option to lower the knees. But making sure you keep that core engaged here, we're not allowing the hips to sink. Two more breaths here, nice. If you're in your plank, maybe pushing those shoulder blades up, rounding that spine more than you usually would in your plank. Nice, one more breath, feel that one long line of energy. And then exhale, start to draw your, drop your knees towards your mat, untuck your toes. Inhale, come into that cow back, so we're opening, lifting through the tailbone, chest reaches forward. Bending your elbows in towards you, start to lower your chest and your chin down in between your palms. Inhale, soften, lower the hips, we sweep it forward. Peel the chest open, Bhujangasana, Cobra. Maybe just taking a little baby Cobra for this first round, pushing tops of the feet into the mat. Exhale. Push back, tuck under the toes, lift the knees, send the hips high, downward facing dog, Ardha Mukha. Taking any little movement that you need to here, wriggling through the hips, shaking the head. Taking what you need and finding some stillness. Get your gaze in between your hands. You can either walk, step, or maybe you want to draw your feet together and take a little hop towards the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway your variation. Exhale, fold. Inhale to rise all the way up, hand sweep overhead. Exhale, takes you all the way back down, folding forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, bend the knees, plant the hands, step back, plank pose. Staying here for two breaths, taking your variation. Breathe in here, engage in that core. Start to lower the knees. Tailbone rises, we lower chest and chin. Inhale, sweeps you forward, Bhujangasana. And this time as well, keeping it low here, pushing down through tops of the feet. Maybe you can start to lift the hands off the mat, so drawing those elbows in towards you. Really finding that engagement through your upper body. 
Exhale, plant the hands, tuck under the toes, push back, Ardha Mukha. Breathe in here. Find in your Ujjayi breath. Inhaling and exhaling through the nose. Just loud enough for you to hear, so keeping that breath soft and fluid. Take gaze in between the hands, walk, step, jump, top of the mat. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale to rise all the way up, hands reach overhead. Exhale, hands through heart centre. Closing down the eyes here. Just feeling the heart beating towards the thumbs. Finding your slow and steady breath. And then bring and open the eyes. We'll take one round of a variation of sun salutation C. So again, starting at the top of the mat. As you inhale, arms reach high. Maybe you want to take a little back bend here. So pushing the hips forward. Again, lifting up and out, opening from that upper back as you exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. This time, start to bend the knees, but step that left foot towards the back of the mat. Lower that left knee down. So keeping the toes tucked if you need to protect the knee or folding the mat over, whatever feels right for you. As you inhale, we'll lift the arms up. Anjani Asana, low lunge. So we're drawing the right hip back, left hip forward here. Finding that stability. Breathe in here. Inhale, takes you up. As you exhale, start to turn the palm facing forward and squeeze those elbows down in line with the shoulders, cactus the arms. Exhale, allow them to lower. Inhale, rise. We'll take two more. Exhale, cactus the arms, maybe lifting open through the chest, roll it down. One more inhale. Exhale, cactus roll all the way down. Frame that front foot, tuck under the back toes, step to your plank pose. Lowering knees, chest, chin. Inhale, sweep into your baby cobra up if you want to. Full upward facing dog. Ardha Mukha. Exhale, tuck under the toes, push back, downward facing. Breathe in here. Taking three deep breaths, anything that you need to do. Again, maybe sigh it out, inhale. Exhale, release. <sighs> nice. And take the gaze forward. This time, step your left foot in between the hands. So again, you might need to wiggle that forward. That's absolutely fine. And then lowering that right knee down. Again, anything you need to do here. We inhale, arms reach high, and Jani Asana, left side. So again, dropping and rolling that left hip down, right hip forward, squaring through the hips. You can take this little self-adjustment, just a check-in. Inhale, takes you up. Exhale, cactus the arms, rolling them down. Take two more, inhale. Exhale, cactus. Inhale. Exhale, open the chest, allow that space and then frame that front foot. The right foot steps to meet the left at the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, to rise all the way up, hands reach overhead. Exhale, hands through to heart centre and closing down the eyes here. So taking three deep cleansing breaths before we move through to our main flow. So when you are ready, take a deep inhale all the way into your nose, into your lungs. Exhale, sigh out through the mouth. Nice, take two more of these. Inhale, that air, that prana into your body. Exhale, release anything that does not serve you. <sighs> Amazing, one more. Inhale, the biggest one yet. 
exhale, release it all out. <sighs> Amazing, guys. And then just coming back to that slow, steady, ujjayi breath. Inhaling, exhaling through the nose, finding your calm, finding your center, allowing the air to purify the body. And then when you're ready, gently blinking, open the eyes and we'll start the main split. So standing at the top of your mat, have your feet about hips distance apart here. We're going to start to take three undulating rolls. So these can be quite free, quite expressive. So start to bend through the knees. Allow this upper body to just round, melt forward, like you're a bit in your ragdoll pose. Then as you inhale up, really soft in the knees, lift, roll up through the body. Maybe start to send the hips forward. Roll the shoulders back, open through the chest, and then exhale, takes you back down. Nice, right, take two more. Inhale. Open, expressive as you like. Exhale, fold. One more. Inhale. This time, staying high, the arms reach up into the sky. Inhale, maybe take a little back bend. Exhale, folding forward. Uttanasana. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, bend the knees, plant the hands, step back to your plank pose. Just passing by here. Start to lower the knees, chest and chin. And tuck the toes, I'll soften the hips. Inhale, lift up to your cobra. Open through that chest. From here, tuck under the toes and start to shift the weight back. So sending the sit bones towards the heels and we peel ourselves up to a kneeling position. Nice, so checking in that the feet are about hips distance apart here, toes are tucked under. From here, just going into a little bit of a baby Ustrasana, baby camel variation. So you can take your hands and you wanna have your palms facing up just under the ribs here, if that feels comfortable for you. They can be a bit lower if this feels more accessible. Squeezing the elbows in, rolling the chest up and back. Maybe this is enough for you. Maybe you can start to shift the hips forward. Maybe you can allow that head to gaze up to the sky or dropping back wherever you are. Inhale, squeeze the thighs together to allow you to lift all the way up. Head comes up last of all. Amazing, from here, start to plant the hands down. So we're coming back into this familiar cat-cow position here. So as you inhale, lift the tailbone, the chest rises. Exhale, round through the spine, pushing away. Inhale, come back to your cat. This time, tuck under the toes. Lift the knees with this arch back. Push back and then roll the body out into your downward facing dog taking any little adjustments that you need to here, finding your foundations. Breathe in here. And grounding down through the left foot. We inhale, lift that right leg up high into the sky, three-legged dog. First, keeping the hips square here. Inhale, as you exhale, start to bend that right foot towards the right glute. And then see if you can send that right foot over to the left, opening out through the hips here. Really starting to engage through that lower body, but not forgetting about the upper body. So we're still pushing away with those hands, checking that the shoulders are level. One more breath, inhale. Exhale, start to extend the leg back, three-legged dog. Inhale, start to draw that right knee in towards your chest round through the spine think of your cat back and then exhale step shimmy whatever you gotta do get that right foot in between your hands as you inhale root down to rise all the way up crescent lunge again right hip back left hip forward opening through the chest 
Maybe you want to take a little bend in this back knee, scooping the pelvis under. Maybe you want to take your feet about hips distance apart for a bit more stability. Anything that you wish. And we're coming into those cactus arms again, like we did in lay lunge. Inhale, reach up to the sky. Exhale, turn the palms forward. We open out, squeeze those arm cactus. Maybe lifting through the chest. Exhale, sweep round. Inhale up. Exhale, cactus, sweep it round. Inhale, nice. Exhale, open, sweep it round. Holding here, palms facing forward. Start to overload this front leg. So starting to shift the body weight forward, forward, forward until maybe we can lift that left leg up. Coming into a variation of Virabhadrasana 3, Warrior 3. So you might want to keep a little bend in that right leg to allow yourself to turn that left hip down. Breathe in here, keeping the heart lifted in this variation. Inhale, start to rise all the way up. Hands reaching high, drawing that left knee in towards your chest. Take a deep inhale, fill that body with air, with life. And as you exhale, sending the chest forward again. Starting to extend that left leg back out. Planting the left hand down in line with the right foot. We inhale the right arm up to the sky. Easy twists. Breathe in here. Stay in here. Maybe you want to lower that back leg. Whichever option. Maybe you want to cactus that right arm. Really rolling the right shoulder blade down. Inhale to open. On your exhale, start to take the body back to the front. We pivot that left foot, that back foot, 45 degrees so it's in line with the short edge of the mat. Come onto your right forearm to right thigh. We sweep up and out into our extended side angle, Uttita Padva Konasana. Breathe in here, nice. Rolling that left shoulder blade down so we open out one strong long line of energy from that left foot all the way through to those left fingertips. Beautiful. Inhale. Exhale. Reverse the warrior. So we pass through warrior two. Flip the front palm. The left hand travels down the left leg. So we inhale to reverse. Again, squeezing in through that midline, keeping that front leg bent. Inhale, takes you back up. From here, pivot that right foot so it's diagonally facing the corner of the mat, coming into our Skandasana. So the weight starts to shift from the back, back to the front of the mat. So bending into this right leg, flexing through that left foot, coming into your variation of Skandasana. So you can be up here, that's absolutely fine. Maybe you wanna be on the ball of the right foot, or if you can, planting that right foot down, grounding down through the feet, engage through the glutes, adding that little bit more power, nice. Definitely not trying to distract, <laughs> one more breath. Exhale, plant the hands down. Be animalistic, walk the hands all the way around. Frame in that left foot. Round down through the hands. Push into the mat and step that left foot all the way back. Downward facing dog, nice. Then take three breaths here. So you can stay here in your down dog or maybe you wanna come to a balasana child's pose. Just allow yourself to reconnect with the breath. Inhale and fill in your up. Exhale, release. Inhale, inviting all that good, that positive energy into your body. Exhale, releasing that tension, let it go. <sighs> nice. And then when you are ready, We'll all meet back in our downward facing dog. So same flow on the other side. You're doing amazing. 
So take the gaze in between your hands. Options of walk, step or jump, top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Stay in here, bending into those knees and we start the flow. We inhale, takes us all the way up. Taking those three rolls as expressive as you like. Open through the heart, through the body. And on the third one, we stay up. Inhale, arms reach high. Maybe we take that little back bend. Exhale to fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, bend the knees, plant the hands, step back, plank pose, just passing through it. Lower down the knees, the chest and chin in between the hands. Inhale, coming to your cobra or full upward facing dog. Exhale, lower the knees, tuck under the toes. We peel the body all the way back to our Ustrasana camel. So hands going towards the ribs, fingers pointing up, or if you want to, taking hold of the ankles here. Squeezing through the thighs and lifting up through the heart. Two more breaths. And then wherever you are, engage in the core, squeeze through the thighs. Oh, how my voice went with. Come all the way back up. And then planting the hands down into your tabletop position. Coming into that familiar cat cow, we inhale, lift the tailbone, chest reaches forward. Exhale, round push your way through upper body. Inhale, lift through the chest, this time tuck under the toes. Push the sit bones back and then extend all the way up. Downward facing dog, nice. Coming into setting those foundations. Pushing away through the hands, grounding through the feet. Ground down through that right foot. We inhale the left leg high into the sky. Three-legged dog, squaring through those hips. Inhale. Exhale. Start to draw that left foot towards the left glute. If you can, take it over to the right. Opening through that left hip. Keep those shoulders square. Breathing into this space. Really nice. One more breath. Exhale. Inhale. And as you exhale, straighten all the way back. Three-legged dog. Inhale, round you through. Draw that left knee in towards your chest. And exhale, step that left foot in between your hands. Go ahead and rise all the way up, crescent lunge. Taking any little modifications that you need to here, scooping the pelvis, binding your foundations. Inhale, rises you up. Exhale, cactus the arms round all the way. Take two more, inhale. Exhale, squeezing those shoulder blades together, nice. Inhale. Exhale, rounds all the way around. Keep the hands down beside you. Finding that grounding in the left foot. Shifting the body weight forward. Coming into a variation of Virbhadrasana 3. Keeping that leg soft if you need. Lifting through the heart. Inhale. Exhale, start to rise to standing. Arms reach high, draw that right knee in towards your chest. Inhale, filling up, finding that energy, and as you exhale, extend that right leg back behind you. Right hand plants next to left foot. We inhale, easy twist, left arm to the sky. Lower in the knee if you need to. Cactus in the arm if you wish. Inhale, exhale. One more inhale here. As you exhale, Pivot that right foot down, left forearm to left thigh. We sweep up and out through that right hand. Uttita Pajma Konasana, left side. Again, finding that long line of energy, really pushing down through the edge of that right foot. Lifting up and out of the pose, wrap, rolling that right shoulder blade down. Beautiful. Inhale. 
exhale takes you all the way up passing through warrior two flip the front palm inhale as you exhale reverse your warrior right hand travels down left arm reaches inhale reach feel that nice side stretch in your left body exhale lifting back up pivot the front left foot this time diagonally in line with the mat shifting the weight over to the left coming into your skandhasana left side any variation maybe you want to take your hands to heart center and use that left forearm that left tricep to open a little bit deeper through the hips one more breath and then plant the hands walk all the way around frame that right foot push into the ground step back downward facing lower the knees lower the sit bones come into a very well deserved child's pose amazing effort everybody again coming back to finding that equal inhale and exhale through the nose so when we take a bit more challenging poses using a bit of strength there's a tendency to lose our breath so use this time to check in to reset maybe to soften air is fluid air takes on a lot of purity a lot of transformation allow that to move through you right now feel it in your body now as i said at the beginning we have an opportunity here to flow through that final flow one more time maybe adding on a couple of poses if you wish um, otherwise if not you're more than welcome to just take this time to be in child's pose or maybe even just to take some stretches that you feel will best serve you right now and there is no pressure to do the flow again however if you wish i will be guiding you through it one more time we'll be moving a little bit more fluidly with a little bit less direction from myself so completely up to you if you are ready and you want to move through with me we'll move on a collective breath take a deep inhale through the nose exhale sigh it all out through the mouth amazing start to peel up ground down through the hands shift the weight forward tuck under the toes come back downward facing dog so we're going to move through the flow on both sides now and then we come into some nice little counter poses. When you are ready, take the gaze forward, walk, step, jump, tap of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bend the knees, fall forward. We come into those three waves. So make it fluid, make it your own. Allow that body to fill up on the third one. We stay up, inhale maybe take the back bend exhale folding forward inhale halfway exhale bend the knees plant the hands step back plank pose lowering down through knees chest and chin inhale hips soften drive all the way up baby cobra or upward facing lower the knees if you need to tuck under the toes Lift all the way up into your variation of camel. Take two breaths. Squeeze the thighs. Lift all the way back up. Come into your tabletop. Inhale. Cow. Exhale. Cat. Make it fluid. Inhale. Cow. Tuck under the toes shift back downward facing inhale right leg lifts and we open the right hip split hip dog opener inhale exhale three-legged dog inhale draw that right knee in towards the chest exhale plant that right foot down 
Inhale, we rise all the way up, crescent lunge. Exhale, soften into the pose. Inhale, lift through the fingertips. Exhale, take your three cactus arms. Inhale. Exhale, open. One more, inhale. Exhale, open, allow those hands to sit beside you, shifting forward, warrior two, holding, warrior three, sorry, holding here, adding my own little mix. <laughs> and when you're ready, slight bend in the right knee to drive you all the way up. Left knee draws into the chest, so adding on from here. So keeping that left foot in connection with the left glute. Start to lower that left knee down beside you. Start to take that left hand out so we're externally rotating. And maybe you can hold on to the inside of your left foot. So maybe you want to take the strap here to move into our Natsurajasana dancer pose. However, there are many stages of this. So we want to find that engagement. So pushing the hand into the foot foot into the hand creates that stability. Starting to lift through that upper body, arm reaching out. So this is a variation of dancer pose. If you want to add on from here, start to push hand into the foot, foot into the hand to lift that left foot behind you. Then start to reach forward and down with the chest. Finding your drishti, your gaze point. Two breaths. Nice. Then coming back with that same control. Amazing. Release the hand. The knee draws back into the chest. The arms reach high. We're back into the flow. As you exhale, the left arm reaches down. The left leg extends behind you. Inhale, reach up and out. Maybe cactus in the arms. Exhale, pivot all the way around. Rise all the way up. Utita Pada Kanatana, side angle. Again, staying here or starting to take the right hand down to the inside of the right foot, keeping that left arm lifted. So again, you can use a block here if you're kind of in between these two postures. Or if you're feeling a little bit jazzy, go ahead and take that right hand, the right fingertips to the right corner of the mat. Take your left hand to your hip, Bend into that right leg and allow yourself to open up into your half moon variation, Ardha Chandrasana. Maybe lifting that left hand up. Maybe taking that bind, so similar to our dancer pose. So bending the left foot in towards the left glute. Hand is on the inside. Push hand into the foot, foot into the hand. Amazing. If you don't have it, don't worry. It is a process. It is a journey. Take whatever you need. One more breath. Release in here. Bend back into that leg. Lower down with control. We inhale. Everybody meet back. Reverse warrior. Exhale. Pivot that foot. Skandhasana. We do one more side and then this hard yang part is all over. Walk it round. Frame that left foot. Step back, downward facing dog. Take three deep breaths here. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, sigh it all out through the mouth. Amazing. Two more. Inhale. Exhale, release. One more. Inhale. Exhale, release it all out, let it go. Finding that energy for this final round. Take your gaze in between your hands, walk, step, jump, top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bend the knees, allow the body to melt forward. Exhale as you inhale, drive you up. Take those three rounds. Moving fluidly, allow that air to reach every corner of your body. Inhale, arms reach high, maybe back bend. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, bend the knees, plant the hands, step back, plank pose. Lowering down through knees. 
chair didn't you inhale takes you all the way up baby cobra exhale tuck under the toes lift to kneel and take your variation of ushrasana to your breath Squeezing through the thighs, lifting up and out of the heart. And squeeze through the thighs, but lift up head, coming up last of all. Planting hands down, tabletop. Inhale, come into cow. Exhale, round cow. Inhale, cow, tuck under the toes, lift the knees, push, ripple that body back, downward facing dog. Final side, you're doing amazing. Inhale, lift that left leg high. Exhale, open it. Split hip jog opener. Inhale, three legged. Exhale, start to draw that left knee into the chest. Squeeze, 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 and then plant it down between the hands. Inhale, we rise all the way up. Crescent lunge, finding your foundations here. Inhale, exhale, sinking into the pose. Take those three rounds of cactus. Inhale. Exhale, cactus the arms, sweep it round. Two more. Inhale. Exhale, open the chest. One more. Inhale. Exhale, open the chest. Lean it forward. Virbhadrasana three. Warrior three. Chest lifted. Inhale and exhale, keeping a little bend in the left knee as you inhale. Drive it up, right knee in towards the chest. Again, adding on from here. So starting to take that left knee down, keeping that right foot squeezed towards the right glute. Start to take that right hand on the inside of the right foot. Again, finding that connection between foot and hand, hand and foot, using that energy. Taking that left hand forward, opening through the upper chest, staying here. Or maybe coming through, pushing hand into the foot, foot into the hand, start to move forward here. Open through that upper back, coming into damper pose. Two breaths. And then gently coming all the way back with control. Inhale, take the arms all the way up, squeeze that knee and you're back into the flow. Exhale, right leg extends, right hand plants down. Inhale, easy twist, any variation. Exhale, hit. Inhale, prepare as you exhale, pivot, sweep it up. Utita Padva Konasana. Options here, so you can stay here. That's an amazing place to be. Otherwise, taking your left hand on the inside of the left foot again, keep that chest rolled open here towards the sky. Or again, if you want to add on, go ahead, take that left fingertips towards the top left corner of the mat. Use that weight, that overloading of that left leg to lift you all the way up. Maybe the right hand is on the hip. Maybe it can reach up to the sky. So we're trying to roll that right hip open here. Again, you can use your block for this. That's amazing. If you want, go ahead, draw that right foot in towards right glute. Hold on to inside of the foot. Maybe taking the band. Breathe in here. Amazing. Then releasing softly wherever you are. If you're in your Ardha Chandrasana, bending into that left leg, lowering the right foot down with control. Inhale takes you all the way up. Reverse the warrior. Feel that nice stretch. Exhale, pivot the foot. Skandasana. Left side, open it all up. Exhale, hands down, pivot round. Frame the front foot, step back, Ardha Mukha. Lower knees, lower sit bones, melt that forehead down. You are done. Amazing. Feeling that air moving fluidly through the body. 
Maybe feeling the depth of the breath in your belly, in your chest. Maybe feeling that sense of elevation, that sense of life. Adding all that air into your practice, into your body. And just be, just allow this to resonate here for a moment. Let it fill you all the way up. And starting to soften the breath here in your child's pose. Knowing that we're coming into a bit more of a yin element of the class. So starting to soften through that yang energy. When you are ready, lifting all the way up, rolling the body all the way back to seated. Dropping the sit bones onto the left hand side and taking the feet out in front of you. Nice. So just working into a couple of counter poses, a couple of stretches here before we move into Shavasana, everybody's favourite. <laughs> so starting here, taking the feet about hips distance apart, bending at the knee and holding underneath your thighs here. So it's like a cat cow variation. As you inhale, we lift, so the chest reaches towards the side. We lift up and out of the back. As you exhale, holding underneath the thighs here, start to round through the upper back. Allow yourself to push back through shoulder blades. Allow your chin to just melt down towards your chest. Breathing into your back body here. So this should feel really nice. Rounding down through the feet. And we'll take two more of these. So just a gentle inhale, open. And exhale, round, sending you back. Again, maybe you get a little bit heavier each time you do this. One more. Inhale, lifts you up. Exhale, rounding down, softening. And lifting all the way up. Come back through your seated posture. Placing the hands down, step to plank. Don't worry, we're just lowering down from here. So in your plank, one final chaturanga. Lay it all the way down to your belly. Nice. Then lifting up, coming into Sphinx Pose. So your elbows are underneath your shoulders, your forearms are down, the fingers are spread on the mat. Roll the shoulder blades down the back. We lift up into the chest here. So just staying here for a moment. Pushing down a little bit through tops of the feet. And from here, go ahead and walk your left forearm forward a bit. Take your right hand and thread it underneath your left elbow, palm facing up to the sky. Oh, sorry, no, palm facing down. <laughs> and then take your right, your left arm, and walk it all the way over to the right. So you have your arms crossed here. So this might be enough here, feeling into the shoulders, or if you want to. You can allow that upper head, that upper body to soften. Maybe the chin rests on your tricep. And just breathe in here. And each inhale, filling that back body with space. And on each exhale, can we soften a little bit deeper? Let go of that little bit more resistance. Gently starting to lift up the head. Flip that left 
palm up to face the sky. We unthread this right arm so that it comes all the way up high. And then we exhale, take it all the way behind us. As we do so, we draw that right knee in line with the hip and we're in our nice twist. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> if you've not got much space, you can cactus the arms here. Maybe your gaze wants to be up to the sky or maybe you want to take your gaze over across your right hand. Yeah, and just whatever feels right for you. Maybe you even want to close down the eyes here. And allow this grounding, this earth element to start to take over a little bit. Feeling a bit more heaviness in your body. Allowing that right shoulder to really melt down here. One more breath. Inhale, exhale, let it go. Keeping it soft. And start to roll back to the left, rolling back the way we came until we move all the way back into our Sphinx Pose. So again, just resetting here. Finding a foundation here. Just passing through. Again, feeling that nice opening of the upper body. And this time, start to shift your right forearm forward a little bit. Take your left hand. Now, thread it underneath towards the right armpit. The right hand creeps over a little bit to the left. Right. And again, if this feels too much, you can bend your arms here a little bit to just give yourself a little bit more space. Palms facing down, and then if you can, just allow the upper body to just melt forward. Even the chin rests on the shoulder. And again, feeling that nice stretch into the shoulders. Allowing yourself to start to melt down here. And resting all the way back up. Start to flip that right hand so the palm faces the sky. We go into that crazy little transition. So we take that left arm all the way up to the sky. And then start to send the left hand all the way behind you. If you have space. <laughs> and then... Maybe cactus in the arms, drawing that left knee up now in line with the hip, coming into your supine twist. Don't worry about the knee touching the floor or not, it really doesn't matter. What matters is you allowing yourself to soften, to simply just be here. Melting that left shoulder down, taking your gaze wherever you want. Feeling that spine. Feeling the rooster. And from here, taking your head back to centre tuck your gaze across. Start to turn all the way onto your back now. Yes. <laughs> then from here, squeezing your knees in towards your chest, maybe wrapping your arms around your shins and just give yourself a little bit of a massage through the lower spine. Maybe taking some nice circles with the lower back. Maybe taking a few rocks from side to side. And this should feel quite nice. <laughs> and then finding some stillness. Start to lift the body up. Squeeze the forehead in towards the knee. Now I want you to squeeze everything into a ball really tight. 
So squeeze it all in for five. Squeeze the feet, squeeze the face, squeeze the hands for three, two, one. Exhale, release it all out. Nice. Take the feet out to the extent of the mat and allow your feet to be heavy. Take your arms behind your neck and just allow your head to lift, drawing your chin towards your chest extending through and lengthen the neck and then place it back down taking your hands down beside you the palms facing up to the sky and coming into our final resting pose very well deserved shavasana allowing yourself to sink into the mat Feeling the support of the earth beneath you, holding you. Feeling the breath soften. No longer any need to control it. Just allow yourself completely surrender here, completely let go, allow the feet to feel really heavy, the tops of the feet, the soles of the feet. Allow the ankles to relax. Allow the shins to simply just melt into the mat. Allow the thighs to be heavy. Allow the hips, the pelvis to feel really heavy and grounded down. Allow the belly to be soft. The chest to be soft. For that wave of relaxation, moving all the way from the tops of your shoulders down all the way to the tips of your fingertips, noticing the slight curve of the fingers towards the palms, allow your back body to completely surrender, allow the shoulder blades to melt beneath you. Softening through the jaw, through the temples. Allow the eyes to be heavy. Soften the third eye, the space between the eyebrows. Soften the forehead, the crown of the head. Feel your whole body completely present, completely relaxed. Welcome to stay in Shavasana for as long as you need. If you 
all ready to move. Start by deepening the breath. Bringing that subtle awareness back to your body. Maybe noticing the temperature of the room. Maybe the contact of the clothes on your skin. And then go ahead and softly as you need to start to bring some small movements into the fingertips, into the toes. And taking any little stretches, anything that you need to when you awaken the body. Maybe you want to draw your feet together, reach your arms up overhead. Inhale and take a nice full body stretch. And exhale, releasing it off. Start to draw your knees in towards your chest. Taking hold of underneath your thighs. And then gently rocking yourself all the way up to a comfortable seated position at the top of your mat. And when you arrive there, closing down the eyes if you haven't got them closed already. Taking your hands together in Anjali Mudra prayer and resting your thumbs at your heart centre. Take a big deep inhale all the way from the belly. And then exhale, one big final sigh all out. Really nice. And then starting to bow your head towards your hands in honour of yourself, in honour of the practice of yoga and how fortunate we are to have a practice that calms us, that settles us in these times. Notice that heart beating in your chest, that love, that compassion you share for others that you should share also for yourself. Start to take your thumbs to your third eye centre, the space in between your eyebrows, and we'll all bow down to say Namaste. Namaste. Amazing. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining me today. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got a little bit of happiness, hopefully a little bit of lightness, a little bit of energy from it. So yeah, let me know what you think. I'm happy for you to also suggest some flow for me to do. And yeah, take care of yourself.